So this is going to be to show you how to step out of time for real. Not even joking. So as you go on the journey of life, the process of figuring out what this place is, you should start seeing patterns, repeat patterns. And as you focus on paying your bills, going to work, going home, changing diapers, washing clothes and all that, you get kind of get distracted. You'll see a pattern and then you refocus on day-to-day -day activities. But the secret is while you're doing your day-to-day -day routine, which is pretty much monotonous, you can do it without thinking. And so as you're doing your stuff, you can be thinking about those patterns and those patterns, <coughs> those patterns turn into types. You'll see something happen, right? And it repeats. You can go next door, or you go to down the street or you can go anywhere in the same trouble. You can change churches, you can change jobs, you can change cities, you can change wives, you can change girlfriends, you can change whatever and you see the same patterns you can change stores go to a different mall go to a different restaurant and you still see the same patterns in everything that you do whether it's the stock market whether it's the news the media the cycles it doesn't matter the same patterns repeat everywhere all the time and so then you move away from the the types and shadows, you don't have to move away from it. You, you, you rise above it and you see the arch types, the archetypes. And so the archetypes are overarching patterns. And as you approach the understanding of these overarching types and shadows, it doesn't matter if it's food, it doesn't matter what you eat, it doesn't matter how to be healthy, how to speak, how to talk, how to think, doctrines, doctrines of demons, doctrines of devil, sound doctrine, the types and shadows hold. And you know it's true because Solomon, he, he, he tried everything. Solomon tried uh, everything under the sun in Ecclesiastes. And he says it's all vanity. But when you step into the ark types and you see that Everything that you're doing, every step that you take, every time you cross your arms, cross your legs, sit in a car, ride down the street. It, let's say you're riding down the street in your car. It's no different than riding in a chariot thousands of years ago. It's no different than riding a horse. It's no different than riding a go-kart when you were a child. It's no different than riding a bike. You're still, you're still on a carriage. Something's carrying you. It might be different technology, but the same truth is still there, the same types. And then when it comes to people and personalities and situations, you've seen it a thousand times. When you talk to one narcissist, you talk to them all. If you talk to one sociopath, you talk to them all. If you dated one sociopath, you've dated them all. They're, they have no new game. They have no new pattern. And so when you step out into the archetypes and you understand it doesn't matter what kind of job you do, it doesn't matter what you're it doesn't matter what you're doing. When you step into the understanding of the archetypes, you step out of time. Because you've already seen it a thousand times. You actually saw it when you were a child. Everything that's happening to you now, if you step back and just try to remember, you might not have had the understanding as a child. But if you, if you think back to what stuff that happened to you as a child, it's happening right now. You might have had family. You might have been uh, watched the family problems. And, and your, 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 your mom or your grandparent, your grandmother, they'll say, well, that happened to me and now it's happening to you. Or your mom might say, it happened to your grandmother and it happened to me and now it's happened to you. Or your grandfather says, well, yep, yeah, I've been through that. You just... Everything that happens repeats. The secret is 
to look at the patterns. Okay, so let's say you see somebody that's overeating. You know it's not healthy. So you look at the archetype and you look at the people have, who are overeating all the time and you see that it's, you see their destiny. But if you but if you take the archetype of somebody who's uh, not overeating and doing fasting and following a, a regimen that's a healthy regimen, you know your future, you know your destiny. So you can look at the archetypes and change your destiny. You can look at the archetypes and set a pattern that you know is going to be beneficial and good. If you got a family member that never kept a job more than six months, you you see their their future. You don't want that future. If you see an archetype of somebody who uh, had some growth within, they were joyful and happy and but if you see the archetype of somebody who never was introspective never looked at their own junk they're miserable blaming everybody else and it's everybody else's fault right he said she you, you can look at the archetype of somebody who's always into gossip and backbiting and trouble you can look at the at the archetype of a lazy person you can look at the archetype of any kind of situation and and Look at the present situation and look at somebody in the future that had that same propensity and you can say, I don't want to go that path. And you can also open the book of Proverbs and the book of Psalms and the book and wise teachings and, and understand that these things are repeats. So when you step into the archetypes, you can look at the future, you can look at the past, you can look at the present, and you realize you can set your destiny or your destination by not doing certain things that you shouldn't be doing and doing certain things you should be doing. Choose not to do things you shouldn't be doing and choose to do things that you should be doing. To, to, to step into a relationships that you should be in and cut off the relationships you shouldn't be in and you can actually see it on a phone conversation if somebody's talking about the same stuff every week and they're in a repeat they're actually pulling you down into time they're pulling you out of the 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 archetype mindset they're pulling you down into the the sine wave the cycle the repeat the washing machine when you've already washed your own mind and stepped out of it you already know not to be lazy. You already know not to backbite and gossip and throw people under the bus. You already know that you should mind your own business, work with your own hands. You already know what to do. And you know if you don't do it and you take the other path, it's a path of destruction. It's a path of misery. It's a path of repeat. And it's actually a path to destroy your heart and your mind and your soul. Some path, some path some pathway will destroy your your heart you know guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flow all the issues of life so as you look at the archetype of somebody who went before you or you look at the archetype of a present situation and you see where it caused the person problem you don't follow that path you look at the reflections that hits you back. You look at the consequences. You look at the the behavior that you had in the past that caused trouble, and you change your behavior. You're not an AI program. You have a will. You have a conscience. You have a spirit. You have a, a soul. You don't have to keep doing the same stuff over and over and over. That's not beneficial. Everybody knows that old saying. If you keep doing this, the the stuff that you've been doing. That's insanity if it's not good stuff. It's insanity to keep repeating the same stuff that's not beneficial. I didn't quote it right, but you know the saying. It's insanity to keep doing stuff that you know is not working. Change it. It's time for a change. Do a change up. If you feel tired 
if you feel like you have no energy, if you feel like your mind is fogged, do a change up. Change your food, change your diet, change your eating, skip meals, do some fasting, start changing, going away from carbs and sugar, and go to meat and oils. For real. Extra virgin olive oil will take away your inflammation. Let me say it again. If you cut out sugar and you take extra virgin olive oil, your inflammation will go away. And inflammation, I've studied a lot of doctors in the last year, and they all end up saying the same thing. Inflammation is one thing that causes disease, causes problems. And they all agree that sugar is bad. If every doctor on the planet says sugar is bad for you, and most of the doctors that do the research say that extra virgin olive oil is good for you, and most of the people who stepped out of the box say that carbs are bad for you, carbs are not even essential foods. If, if, if carbs are not essential, you don't need them. So everybody on the planet is making choices that's destroying them, which is insanity. I did it. I didn't believe it either. And to, it takes something to happen to break you out of your slumber, I think. You know, we might wake up on this or we might wake on this, but are we waking up, you know, we might wake up to the vaccine lie that they promoted, but are we waking up to the sugar lie that they promoted? Sugar is actually destroying more people than anything else because it affects everything. And when you wake up that you're being poisoned and it's real and you're destroying your your body ship, when you wake up to that and you look at the archetype of all the people with diabetes, you look at the archetype of all the people with uh, where their uh, neuropathy, when you look at the archetype of all the people on drugs or insulin or whatever, and you realize you're following that same path, the archetype is clear, and you can see your future. You can see it in other people who made those choices, but you can also see the future of people who cut it out, and they change their path. They change their destiny. You can see the people who created patterns of gossip and backbiting and negativity. And you can see how, as they got older, they're still negative. You can change it right now. Because the archetypes are real. And nobody escapes it. This universe is a universe <clears throat> of reap what you sow. And if you reap what you sow, you better sow what you want to reap. And it's not only for food, it's f true for your heart, your mind, your soul, your relationships, your, your choices. Investing, not investing, wasting your time, getting enough sleep, it's true for everything. Look at the types and the shadows or the archetypes. Look at somebody who, and, and look at the, the decisions they made. Look at the way they're acting or talking or the negativity. And know you either go that path or you choose a different path. It's a choice. And they can talk a big talk. They can talk a good talk. It's called future faking. People can future fake you all day long if you let them. But when somebody is trying to future fake you and the archetypes, the types and shadows are right there in your face, you can choose to believe the lie or believe the reality of the archetypes. And when you enter into this, you step outside of time and you can actually see yourself in the future because it's what has been shall be and what shall be has been. Not only can you see your future, but the choice you make today. And if you keep making that choice, 
each day that, that repeats. You're opening a door to a different future. You have a choice right now. You know the archetypes of destruction to bad health, to bad heart. You know the archetypes. Hoard them, wine and new wine, take away the heart, the Bible says. You know the archetypes of health and wholeness and, and oneness. You have a choice. You know the archetypes of drinking every day. Cirrhosis of the liver, uh, your mind, people don't think right. You know the archetype of a selfish person. You know how they destroy every relationship they've ever had. And they cause, just, they cause so much pain, it's not even funny. But you also see the archetypes of people who are, are people who give and who try to help other people. And you see that they're happy people. You see that the selfish people are unhappy. There's your archetype. The people it's all about me, 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 me. Amber Heard, you already know Amber Heard's future unless she makes a change. You know even Johnny Depp's going to fall back into the same pattern unless he makes a change. It was right there in your face. The court, the court proceedings were right in our face. You can choose this path or you can choose a healthy path. It's a choice. And what's happening today is a precog of what's going to happen tomorrow. What's happening this year is a precog of what's going to happen in 10 years. And you set the patterns, you step out of time, you follow the archetypes. Sometimes it's hard, but once you once you push through and you create that habit and you destroy the old habits once you push through it might take 21 days and when why would I say 21 days because there's archetypes of movies where they go in to rehab for 21 days it might take 21 days for you to change your pattern and yes as soon as you make the decision somebody's going to come up and say let's go get drunk Let's drink, let's eat some sugar. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. They're always going to try to, why does that happen? The reason it happened is because you sowed those patterns and those patterns don't want to go away easy. But when you sow the new pattern and you keep sowing it and you keep sowing it and you keep sowing it, you step it into a new reality a new destiny, a new realm. You're, you're, you're breaking time. When you set the new pattern, you're actually changing time. You're turning back time, actually. You're, you're like, it's, it's kind of like these patterns were set when you were a child, right? And so when you realize these patterns set when you're a child and you change them, you say, that's not even who I am. And so you change the pattern. It's actually going back in time when you're a child and you're changing your thoughts that you had as a child and you're applying it today. You're erasing all those bad. And the Bible talks about God will restore the moth-eaten years. And if you think I'm joking, try the spirits. Change your patterns for 21 days and tell me if your mind, your body, your, your heart, everything starts to change. People will start to drop out of your world. Uh, door, new doors will open. New windows will open. New thoughts will come in. New op everything will change. And if you really want to get serious about it instead of using your first name or middle name change your name use the name that's more healthy 
if it's a bad, if one of your, if, if your name has the word devil in it or evil in it, go downtown and change your name. Whoever gave you the name that has evil or devil encoded in the name, go downtown and change your name. Because if your name has were, if your name is your calling, if your name represents your your destiny, what do they call you? Call me on the phone. What's your calling? If your name has encoded in it, what do they call you? If your name has a negative in it, why hang on to a negative name when you recognize it? Go downtown, change your name. That's why the Muslim religion, they'll say, my name's Muhammad, or what? They change their name. I'm not saying the Muslim religion's right, but I'm saying there's a principle there that you can learn from. And even if you don't go change your name, change your identity. Identify with the future that you want to be identified with. Because if you change your identity, you're already there. And if other people are trying to put an identity on you that's not even real, they got to go. If they're trying to put a fake identity on you, something that's not even real, just like a gaslighter trying to change reality, they're trying to change your whole, re your, your destiny, your future, your reality, your perception of reality. They're messing with your mind. A gaslighter is messing with your soul and your mind and your heart. So if you are around people who are trying to put an identity on you that's not even real, they're messing with your future. They're messing with your destiny. They're messing with your now. They're still in your peace. And those people, you have to cut them off. You have to get away from them. You have to separate. This is why the Bible talks about come out from among them and be you separate because they're all in the repeat and they're all in the negative. And they're all in the death cult. And they're all in the, the past. They live in, they live in an, uh, an illusion, to be honest with you. The holidays, the birthdays, the, the music. You can go to a restaurant and the same music, they play it every, like in, in May or June, July. They have certain songs they repeat every year. Like when people are swimming, they'll play the same song they played last year. Why do they do it? To keep you in time, in the loop, in the loop-de-loop, -loop, that you can't see the archetypes, you can't see the types. Because I'll tell you, I promise you, when you step through that archway of archetypes, that knowledge of archetypes, it's like a flood. And you say, I've seen this before. I've seen this a thousand times. I already know what's going to happen before it happens by the words that they speak. A person's words you've heard it from somebody else and you see the pattern you can call it profiling if you want to or whatever I don't really care I'm telling you the archetypes are real and when somebody comes at you with certain words and certain phrases and certain attitudes and certain behaviors and certain associate they uh, your grandmother told you friends of a feather flocked together the people that they listen to the the beliefs that they have when they come to you with certain beliefs and words and language and actions and behavior you already know their paths because the script has already been written and each day is a choice you have a free will you can choose life or you can choose death I'm telling you the truth and you know you know I'm telling you the truth and you know it makes sense you might not be able to word it and rephrase it but you know what you know and you know this is right and they'll try to they'll try to say oh you're you don't even have to talk to anybody about what I just said but if you ever do mention oh you're profiling people yeah I can profile a drug head I can profile a drunk I can profile a lazy person I can profile a liar. I can profile a narcissist. I have a free will to protect myself. 
Don't it? And it doesn't matter if it's blood. It doesn't matter if it's a neighbor. It doesn't matter if it's a friend who went down the wrong path. You don't have to stay friends with that friend who's trying to destroy themselves and destroy you. If somebody wants to destroy themselves, they don't really care if they destroy you, to be honest with you. Think about what I'm saying. If somebody is destroying their own self, do you think they really want to build you up? If they're not building themselves up, are they really going to build you up? No. Why would you yoke up with that? Why would you go into union with that? It's going to pull you down. It's going to keep you down. It's going to destroy you. It's so, it's as clear as the nose on your face. What I'm telling you is so obvious. But the noise of the system, the, the confusion that's all around you is to distract you from what I just said. You can actually step out of time through the archetypes, the types and shadows, and make right choices and cut out situations that you don't need to be in and cut out people that don't need to be in your world. And like I said one time, if you make this comment, I don't want unhealthy conversation, unhealthy people, unhealthy anything around me, they'll start to, to disappear. They'll, they'll go away. Just say it out loud. Speak it into to the, the memory of the hologram. Speak it into the earth's memory. There's, there's watchers watching you. This is all being written. It's all being recorded. So if it's all being recorded, speak into the recording. Everything that you're thinking, everything that you're doing is being recorded. Why not speak it into reality? If it's being recorded, speak the truth. Why believe lies? If you believe lies that you tell yourself or other people are telling you, you're going into darkness and destruction and you're gaslighting yourself. Tell yourself the truth. Period. Truth gives peace and life and joy. Lies bring death and destruction and confusion and chaos. Speak truth to yourself. Put the memory in the earth. Put the memory in the universe because everything's being recorded. Speak it out loud. You can be in your car going down the highway. You can speak it to yourself. You don't have to speak it to somebody else. But if you speak it to somebody else, you're helping somebody else, to be honest with you. It might take them 10 years to break the program. But that AI-666Q flesh mind program is real. It's like, a, it's like being a robot. They're... They're not running on reality. They're running on a robot program. Use the cycles to create new patterns. Control time. Don't let time control you. Put a seed in time and watch it respond. Watch it harvest. Control the sine wave. Don't let the sine wave control you. And somebody might say, well, how? I can almost read your mind. How? What do you mean? How do I control time? Every choice you make is a seed. Every thought is a seed. Every action is a seed. When you go through fasting, let's say you do a 10-hour fast or a 14-hour fast or a 24-hour fast, you're telling your body that I'm no longer slave to the cycle. Your body's a slave to you. You're, you're not a slave to your body. Your body's a slave to you. Who are you? Are you your body? No, that's not your identity. It's your soul and your spirit. Your identity is outside your body. So why let your bodily food cycle control you? Why let your bodily cycles control you? Control them. Do some fasting. Do some endurance training. Get outside and sweat. Get up and not be lazy. Well, I feel lazy. It's just a feeling. Feelings are like, they're not even real. You can, you know, what about love? Well, love is a choice. The feelings follow the choice. You can choose to love somebody and the feelings will follow. 
But if the feelings are leading, that's the sine wave up and down, up and down. But if you choose, I'm going to love this person no matter what, what happens, I'm going to love them even if I don't feel like it. That's the agape love. The other kind of love is up and down love. You probably never heard this before, but now that I spoke it out into the matrix, it'll start to reverberate. It has to, because the truth has to reverberate. The lies go down. The truth is forever. The lies go away eventually. All lies will eventually be burned up, but the truth is forever. It has to reverberate in the universe. And it has to... This has to start a new, um, a new movement. Just like the free energy, I started that. Just like the walking in the spirit, I started that. Just like the faith alone, I started that. This is a new movement that's going to start to happen. I don't know who started the narcissist movement, but whoever it was, it was probably just one person over here somewhere that you don't even know now, and it spread like wildfire. One little seed turned into millions of seeds. The seed is within the seed. The truth is within the truth. If one person speaks it out into the matrix and another one grabs it, grabs a part of the concept, and another one grabs another part of the concept, and then it starts to mesh, it starts to multiply. This is the transition that's happening. There's a metamorphosis happening. There's a separation happening. There's actually two worlds right now. There's people who believe lies, and there's people who believe the truth. You can actually see it in the political realm. There's two worlds being separated right now, right in front of you. It's been going on forever, but it's so obvious now, it's not even funny. If you can't see it, if you can't see two separate ways of view and reality that people have if you can't see it you're blind as a bat it's happening right before your eyes for real